Many of the trails there are uh, very unstable. Um, most of the damage was caused by the earthquake in, and were located in remote villages. And this we, we managed, was, it was really, really difficult for us. Poor visibility, remember that a lot of dust and lots of rock falls. So eight convoys in the middle of the road. And as you can see, a great challenge awaits these villagers because we, the, snow, the winter is coming. So rebuilding the lives of those once called this ruins home is going to be hard. I was very surprised and it actually it saddened me to see that were actually babies lying on the side of the road and maybe looked after by the elders of the village. They were, they were see, even cooking on the side of the see, road. See, this was incredible. I'd never seen that before. It was very difficult, you know, especially to see whole families, the homes completely destroyed. I mean, I remember we, we took some, we handed the children in the villages. Okay, it was Kevin's idea, our idea to take some lollipops and balloons and footballs, footballs. amongst other things, verdad? Yeah. And the smile, to Jonathan, and shows. joy, yeah, the yeah. smile and the joy on those children's faces was priceless. Remember that these children had undergone a very, very dramatic experience. They've lost their parents, they've lost their siblings, and the village welcomed us with open arms. You could the see great the, the... hospitality with the, within those people. I mean, I've never seen that before. With you... the little they had, verdad? The yeah, little yeah, they would yeah. share. People can donate money there and we'll keep on helping as we can. Now it's going to be very bad because the weather is going to be... That's why we want to go See, before, before it actually... Before the snow falls and the landslides. Eh? Before it gets colder See. and snow comes in and okay. so on. I'd just like to thank everybody who's donated money and we welcome that. And please, if you can carry on helping us, we'll put it to good use when we go again on November the 3rd. See, we're having a, organizing a Halloween party at Bruno's. The money raised will be exclusively for petrol. I would like to thank um, everybody who's donated, especially Bastadoni, the, the police, as I mentioned before, the RGP and the... Gibraltar Defence Police, and I also this yesterday we received around 500 woolly hats and 500 gloves from Isola Bella. I'm really grateful for that because that is what they need. They need warm clothing. Winter it's clothing. going to be a very cold and harsh winter, and uh, we can't forget them. You know they're there, and it's going to be very cold. Please keep on giving.